Hello everybody, this is your Digital Super Saiyan 3, back here with another video, and I gotta say, Happy Halloween, you boys and ghouls. But, yeah, for the longest time, I always assume Halloween and animation have always gone hand-in-hand -hand, hand -hand together. It's like... It's like a fine ballroom waltz between the two mediums of the holidays of Halloween and, of course, and, of course, it blended well with the realm of animation. So today, for this video, I want to include, I want to do a list of my top 10 animated Halloween specials of all time. Just me could me picking 10 Halloween specials that I think are the absolute best of the best. Before we get on to the actual list, I want to give an, a quick honorable mention to It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It is a Halloween classic. Yes. Any of the Peanuts specials are regarded as instant classics. So... Yeah, I'm giving The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown an honorable mention. I mean, what's there to say about it? It's a legendary special. It's a special that's been around for eons. So, on to the actual list. Number 10 on my list is Toy Story of Terror. Now, I have... Now, I, I have talked about Toy Story a few times on my channel. I've done an, a list of my top ten favorite moments from the movies, or, or even did an impressions video of the characters of Toy Story. So now, I guess I'm going to be talking about its one and only Halloween special, Toy Story of Terror. So, the toys have to spend the night in a creepy motel after Bonnie's mom's car breaks down. And, of course, a motel, like Woody says, is easily a place where to a toy can get lost in. And that is true. Toys easily can get lost in a hotel or a motel. Although this doesn't tech. Although, the only reason it's number 10 on the list is because, although it doesn't take place in the typical Halloween setting, it still was released in October of 2023, or 2013, I meant to say, not 23, 2013. So yes, this special is already 10 years old, given the fact that this, that this special released three years after the, after the third Toy Story movie. The main character of this special is Jesse. As Jesse gets a lot of focus on this special, especially how this special serves as a big callback to the second film. And Jesse having to overcome her claustrophobia. Like, we do get a lot of Je Jesse's perspective in this special. And, of course, I love her interactions she she has with Combat Carl, voiced by Apollo Creed himself, Carl Weathers. Ha! <laughs> it's funny. Because his name is actually Carl, and there's a toy called Combat Carl, and he's voiced by Carl Weathers. Yes, that is just hilarious. So, yeah, Toy Story of Terror is a charming little story that I recommend you check it out on Disney+. Plus. Number 9, A Scooby-Doo Halloween from What's New Scooby-Doo. So, yes, every day with the Scooby-Doo gang has always been Halloween. I mean, come on. They pretty much solve mysteries every day of the week. So, of course, for Halloween, the Mystery Inc. gang end up going to Banning Junction, the farming town where Velma's aunt and uncle live. 
And of course, strange things have been happening in Banning Junction with the cornfields of the farming community being destroyed at night. And yes, there is an urban legend of the town's founder coming back to get his revenge on Halloween. Oh, and yes, Kiss even guest stars in this special. Yes, you heard me right. The Lords of Rock themselves, Kiss, show up in this special. And yes, I know it's Scooby-Doo. And yes, Kiss, many, many years later, Kiss and Scooby-Doo would interact with each would interact with each other again and they would get their own animated Scooby-Doo film. So, yeah, there's that. I know I could have easily just picked any of the Scooby-Doo movies to put on this list, but instead, no. I picked an episode of What's New Scooby-Doo and I feel like it definitely fits the theme of Halloween pretty well since it does take place on Halloween. I mean, heck, it's just a very, it's just a very fun special, especially the homages it pays to the original Scooby-Doo, to the original Scooby-Doo series. All throughout the special, you, we do see nods through the, from the franchise's history in this special, like there's this one segment where the Scarecrows are attacking, and Shaggy's dressed up like the werewolf from Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. Number 8. hill o from King of the Hill. Okay, this is two... There are two adult cartoon episodes on this list. And the first is King of the Hill's Halloween special, hill o Now, King of the Hill has had a lot of other holiday specials, but most of them have been mostly... Thanksgiving, and Christmas. With the exception of one Halloween special. In fact, this is the only Halloween special King of the Hill had during its 13 seasons on the air, and it came during the beginning of their second season in, the se in episode 4. Yes, this is episode 4 of season 2. So, yeah... Bobby's last, Bobby, this is basically Bobby and Hank's last Halloween together, and Hank wants to make this Halloween special. Of course, there's this woman by the name of Junie Harper, who believes, who's one of those re super religious people who believe that Halloween is for Satanists. She convinces Luann to join her, and then she even tries to brainwash Bobby and tries to turn Bobby against his father. And throughout the episode, you have Bobby confused as as he's having to decide, should I celebrate Halloween? Should I not celebrate Halloween? Yeah, and if I do celebrate Halloween, I'll go to hell. Yeah. Halloween is also what hap is also a big message about religious beliefs and how far you can take them. Yeah, there has to be a fine line drawn with the religious beliefs. And anyway, one thing I also love about Halloween is the fact that Hank is not the stick in the mud he usually is. It's kind of fun actually seeing Hank in this type of atmosphere this year. Especially since him and his friends always had such great Halloweens during their childhood, and we got a callback to Hank's childhood. Overall, Halloween is probably a good special, but there's but there's six other but there's seven other specials that just beat out Halloween. Number seven, Mickey's House of Villains. So, yes, Halloween's always been considered sort of a villain's holiday, especially when it comes to the villains of the happiest place on Earth, Disney. So, yes, this is a movie that was released, that was released in September of 2002, but it does take place in the House of Mouse, in the House of Mouse universe, so it counts. Basically, 
Jafar and the Disney villains take over the House of Mouse on Halloween night. And it leads to Mickey trying to get the villains to give back the House of Mouse through various shenanigans, only leading to a final battle between Mickey and Jafar in an epic magic duel. Anyway, Mickey's House of Villains was a very fun watch when I recently just watched it. I was thinking about wanting to put it on there, but then realizing that, yes, this this did take place on Halloween. It's the perfect special to put on this list. And I did want to include another Disney entry, and plus, Mickey's House of Villains was the perfect other Disney option to go with. I mean, I mean, after all, it is starring Disney's iconic mouse, after all. And, of course, the Disney villains. So, yeah. Anyway, the villains are defeated after Jafar is sucked into a magic lamp. And the House of Villains gets turned back into the House of Mouse. So, overall, it's a very fun special. Number six. Operation Tricky from Codename Kids Next Door. So, number four has has challenged his friends to a contest to see who would get the most candy by the end of the night. Overall, number throughout most of the running time during number four's contest with his with his teammates and friends, he comes across Sticky Beard and has to get back his candy, as well as as well as having to steal Sticky Beard's entire ship full of candy. And yes, and yes, I am aware that it took four seasons for Codename Kids Next Door to finally get a Halloween special, but it's actually a very fun one. I mean, each of the kids next door, ha each of the kids next door of Sector V do have a lot of good do have some pretty good costumes in this special. But my favorite, personal favorite, had to be number one as a cyborg. I mean, number one just looked so cool in a cyborg outfit. Number five, Scaredy Pants from SpongeBob SquarePants. So, yeah. This is... This is one of those Halloween specials that I can never seem to escape, no matter what. And the top five of this list is basically specials that I think of as the best of Halloween. And Scaredy Pants from SpongeBob SquarePants is no exception. Because, in fact, it's just a really good episode because it also is the introduction of the Flying Dutchman. Spongebob is easily the most scared on Halloween because he's the easiest person in Bikini Bottom to scare. So fed, so fed up of being scared every year on Halloween, Spongebob takes it upon himself to try to get, to try to scare everyone on Bikini, in Bikini Bottom with the help of Patrick. Thus... SpongeBob does attempt to scare everyone at the Krusty Krab who dressed up for Mr. Krabs' Halloween party. And yes, each of the participants in the party, or each of the party guests, do have unique costumes. Squidward has a Flying Dutchman outfit, Sandy is dressed up like a goldfish in a bowl, and Pearl is even dressed like the Bride of Frankenstein. But the real Flying Dutchman ends up showing up after Spongebob's failed attempts to scare everyone. However, when Fla the Flying Dutchman does take the sheet off of Spongebob, he gets scared and we see Spongebob's brain. That he's a stem with a brain, because Patrick overdid it with the clippers to try to make Spongebob round. Oh yes, and this also aired alongside another disturbing episode. I I was a teenage Gary. Where SpongeBob and Squidward turn into snails. Yeah, the very ending of the episode was 
what many people call disturbing. But overall, for a season one SpongeBob episode, it's a really good special. Scaredy Pants just always stood out to me because I always seem to love SpongeBob's oversized pumpkin. Number four, best little horror house in Langley Falls from American Dad. So in order to compete with his neighbor Buckle, Stan Smith gets advice to make things more realistic. By using his CIA credentials to get, well, serial killers. And he made his haunted house a prison theme. But when Roger lets loose the prisoners to make, to make things a little bit more scary, well, all hell breaks loose in the, and the serial killers go on a rampage. And it's, and Stan, Francine, and Roger, and Klaus, well, I forgot to mention Klaus, have to survive being diced up by these crazed serial killers that want to kill them. All leading to a final showdown in the woods in which the Smiths are saved, thanks in part to Steve's friend Toshi. Yeah, Steve, on the other hand, we get his subplot of the episode, which is him just trying to woo... Toshi's sister, Akiko, who's dressed up like Chung Lee from Street Fighter. Overall, Best Little Horror House in Langley Falls is definitely my favorite Halloween special when it comes to adult shows. But there are three specials that I just think beat it out in terms of, of my all-time favorites. Number three, Nightmare in Retroville from The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. So, Halloween has become mundane for Jimmy, Sheen, and Carl. So, in order to help Jimmy, or to help Carl and Sheen get a scary costume, Jimmy creates a device called the Neutron Monsternator. Or the Neutronic Monster, Monster Machine. Anyway, anyway, Carl goes as Dracula and Sheen goes as the Werewolf, or the Wolfman. So, as Dracula and a werewolf, Carl and Sheen go out trick-or-treating. But, Jimmy discovers that they actually become real monsters after Carl cut himself and started drinking his own blood, and then turns into a real bat. And, of course, Jimmy starts seeing the same thing with Sheen being a real werewolf. Of course, Jimmy's father, Hugh, also gets transformed, but into a Frankenstein monster. So, in order to save his friends, his father, and his father from being, well, from becoming real monsters, Jimmy decides to turn himself into an actual monster, which is a giant flying octopi. Which was based off of a monster movie that Hugh was watching called Octopus Man. It's a really good special. Oh yes, and I forget to mention Cindy and Libby also get transformed. Carl bites Cindy and turns her into a vampire. And Sheen ends up transforming Libby into a werewolf. So overall, it's a good special nonetheless. I even love how this is the one special they actually showed blood in a Jimmy Neutron episode. Wow, amazing, Nick. Yes, the Fairly Odd Parents did something similar, but I think Jimmy Neutron had the better execution of this Halloween. Number two, Fright Night from Danny Phantom. For a show about ghosts, it was obviously well expected that a Halloween special was going to be included. And let alone and behold, it is the Fright Night. So in order to win a bet against Dash, where to win a bet to win a bet against Dash, Danny has to do something drastic to impress Lancer with his haunted house room room. And what does he do? He steals the sword of the spirit of Halloween himself, the Fright Knight. It's a really good episode, and 
definitely worth the watch. I mean, heck, the scene in which Danny steals the... Or the moment when Danny goes to the Fright Night's castle is just intense and full of action. Like, we even see Danny get cut from while in his ghost form by one of the Fright Night's traps. And yes, we do see Danny bleed, but, like, we see ecto blood because of the fact that he's half ghost. But, of course, Danny's realizing, oh, yeah, that's right. Why be, why be in my ghost form when I can turn into my regular human form? Although Danny was successful at stealing the sword, the Fright Knight comes back to, comes, manages to come through the portal when Danny when Danny stabs the sword into the ground. It's a really good episode, and the Fright Knight was such a great villain for this episode. After all, he is the spirit of Halloween. How much more horrifying can you get? But, if I had to pick my absolute favorite Halloween special in this list that I just did... I really gotta say, there's one Halloween special that just always stuck out to me, and and to this day, I still think of it as such a great Halloween special. And that is Billy and Mandy's Jacked Up Halloween. Okay. I'll admit, you really can't get any better than Billy and Mandy when it comes to Halloween. And... That's all I can say about that, especially since this is about an immortal prankster seeking revenge on Grimm after Grimm cut his head off many years ago. And yes, this immortal prankster has a pumpkin for a head. And when he tricks Billy out of the Grim Reaper's scythe, he opens a vortex summoning the souls of the underworld to possess pumpkins. And they go on a destructive rampage through Ensville. So, yeah. Billy and Mandy must fight fire with fire to try to beat tricks with tricks. So, yeah. The special ends when the when the trio of Billy, Grimm, and Mandy defeat Jack-O-Lantern and send him to the Underworld. So, overall, it is a very good special, and I'm highly, and I highly recommend you see it and check it out for yourself on Max. So, yes, this has been my list of top 10 animated Halloween specials. If you have a, if you like, if there is an animated Halloween special, let me know in the comments section below what animated Halloween specials are your favorite. So, in the end, so in the meantime, I, this has been your Digital Super Saiyan 3, signing off.